Welcome to my new kitchen in our new house. I wanted to do a quick video because I had an idea and I thought I'd share it with all those other busy parents out there. I know our first thing always when it comes to food is a quick grab and go. These have been a favorite in our house for a very, very long time. Uh, I mean, as long as I can remember when, they, since they've come out basically, they're always been in my freezer. And I'm starting to try to clean out all the junk that we have. And where these aren't horrible, they are full of preservatives. The calorie content is really high. If you really look at them, it's not really clean eating. And I'm trying to eat a lot cleaner. So I have an idea, and I saw it when I was in Publix the other day, was to make these sandwiches myself. So I would have the bread, the peanut butter, the jelly, which I have all my supplies right here. I have my natural peanut butter, and I have my grape jam that the kids like, and I have my um, whole grain bread. But I found this little tool here. And if it does what it says it's supposed to do, which this is the first time I'm trying it, so you guys get to experience it with me, you basically put it on the bread and you push this part down that has the little heart on it, and you make your own crustable. Then you just stick it in a sandwich bag, freeze it, and you have a healthier, fast crustable. Plus, you put that in a lunchbox, there's your ice pack also because it's frozen. So it thaws, it's good, it lasts them the whole day, and it's perfect. I love these things when we go to Disney World and we go to theme parks because the, it is so expensive to eat in those theme parks. I throw a bunch of those in the backpack and sometimes all of us eat them. Now we can all eat them on the healthier version and even I'll eat it because it's a lot healthier. So let's see how well this works out. Like I said, I haven't done one yet, but it says to put the peanut butter and the jelly or whatever you're filling it with. It even showed it with ham and cheese and, and things like that. Um, so you can really make these crustables with anything. I just know that my kids like the peanut butter and jelly, so I'd may, I figured I'll try the peanut butter and jelly. It says to put it in the middle only. So let's try to spread out some of this jam in the middle because it cuts off a lot of the crust. But And this is good too for the parents with the kids that are like, can you cut the crust off for me? Which I hear that all the time. I don't understand why they don't like the crust because it's just the cooked bread. Okay, so let's put this other piece of bread on top like so. And let's get our little sandwich cutter here. So it says to put this on the bread and to push them both down. I don't know if it cut it, but we shall see. That part's done. Let's see if it cut through. Let me move that. Doesn't look like it really cut all the way through, but let's see. I might be pushing the wrong side down. Let's push this one a little bit more to really cut the bread. And I think, voila, we have our crustable. Wow. Love it. Look. I just made my first crustable sandwich. No extra preservatives. It's gonna go in the sandwich bag. Like so. Now it's going into my freezer. Ready for Ryan's lunch tomorrow. He'll be happy. He loves my PB&Js, but I never thought of this until just the other day. So I'm gonna take a little bit of time and make a whole bunch of them and stick them in my freezer and they're quick grab and go snacks or lunches or meals for whatever you may need. I hope you guys enjoyed my video.